In this module, we're going to discuss Catalog Rebuild. When you do a backup with Retrospect, the index of all of your data is saved to the local hard drive. In the event of a crash of the computer where Retrospect is installed, you could lose your catalog files. So you need the ability to recreate those catalog files in the event of a disaster. To do a catalog rebuild, you go to the Tools option on the left side and choose Repair Catalog. You then get several choices. You choose the type of backup set you'd like to recreate from the media. So in this case, we're using CD-DVD. So I'm going to choose the CD-DVD disc option and click OK. Retrospect will then display for me a media request window showing the media that's currently in the drive. In order to rebuild the catalog file for backup set A, I need to insert the first piece of media in some circumstances, or in other circumstances we'll actually insert the last piece of media, and we'll discuss the differences later on. For now we're going to choose one dash backup set A, click OK. Retrospect displays a warning message that it needs to forget the catalog file for backup set A before it can begin the catalog rebuild. Because Retrospect knows about backup set A, and backup set A appears in some of my scripts, it has to be removed from Retrospect before the rebuild process can begin. We need to click OK to this message. If we don't click OK, then we cannot complete the catalog rebuild. After I click OK, Retrospect will ask me where do I want to save my catalog file? In this case, we're going to go ahead and save the catalog file to the desktop. Then we click Save, and Retrospect will begin the catalog rebuild process. As we can see in the Activity Monitor, under Executing, Retrospect has begun. The catalog rebuild will read every single file and every single folder from the backup media. Once it's done that, it adds the individual file and folder information and snapshot information into the catalog. This will allow you to do a restore at a later date. As additional media is required, Retrospect will prompt you to reinsert that media. Once you've run out of additional disks or tapes to rebuild, you can stop the catalog rebuild process and you can use that backup set for either future backups or future restores. Retrospect has an option called Fast Catalog Rebuild. With Fast Catalog Rebuild, you should be able to insert the last piece of media for any backup set at the very beginning of the catalog rebuild process. Retrospect will access a copy of the catalog file at the start of that media, restore to disk, and then update it with whatever additional information appears at the end of that member that you have inserted. This fast catalog rebuild process can save a lot of time. If you have a backup set with 10 or 20 pieces of media, the fast catalog rebuild allows you to start the rebuild with the last piece of media rather than starting it with the very first piece of media. Often a catalog rebuild can take several hours per disk, so having the fast catalog rebuild option available could save you two, three, four hours per disk, and if you have 10 disks in a backup set, it can be very time consuming to use the traditional catalog rebuild that starts with the first member of the set. After Retrospect has read through the piece of media that's in the drive, it will display a message asking you if there are additional members in the backup set to rebuild. If we click yes, we'll get a media request dialog box, and then we can insert 2 dash backup set A. In this case, we don't have a disk number 2, so we're going to click no and that will complete the catalog rebuild process. If we look in the activity monitor history, we'll see that we did a catalog rebuild, and by viewing the log, it in indicates how many files were rebuilt and the total performance of that rebuild.